we're going to have a look at multiplying in the program MathPad. Now the program, program is called MathPad Plus because it includes manipulatives um, for fractions and decimals. But we're going to just use, um, for the sake of this video, um, multiplying in the grid view. This window will come up. Your name have already been entered. I'm just going to double click on my name. So this is the window that comes up. This is the grid sheet worksheet view. And it's our first problem that we're entering. So I'm going to enter in a multiplication problem. It's good to start somewhere in the middle of the grid so you've got lots of room. So here are the number buttons and I'm going to click on 23 times 17 equals. And we'll put it across in a horizontal view, but I'd actually like it in a vertical view so I can complete the work like I would on a regular math sheet. And this is where I'm going to click on this button, horizontal to vertical, and it moves it. Now, a box automatically navigates to where I'm going to put the number, and I have a couple of decisions. I may know what 3 times 7 is, or I could use the calculator. And I could keep track of that, of my work at the side, and I could put 3 times 7 equals, and on my calculator, 3 times 7 equals, and it's showing down here, and it will keep track of that, and I'll put my 21 beside it. If you prefer, if you want the student to show their work, you can. So, let's go back to here. Now, I'm going to put the 1 of the 21, but the 2 will not go here. The 2 needs to go above, where it's going to carry it over. So, this is where I need to use this little button, the 9 representing a number, and the little box above it for carrying or borrowing, and it's called the regroup button. Click it, and the little tiny box appears above the 2. Now I can put the 2 for 21. The box automatically navigates to where you'll put the next answer. 7 times 2 plus 2. And again, I could put the question here to show my work, or just put my answer. So for this one, I just put my answer directly into the box. 7 times 2 is 14, plus 2 is 16. I'll put my 6, it moves it over, I'll put my 1. So now it goes to where the placeholder will go, and I'll put a 0 there. Plus. Automatically puts in the plus sign that helps the student remember, oh yes, I have to add those. So let's do 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 2 is 2. Automatically underlines and leads me where I need to put my answer. Now let's do the adding. 1 times 1 plus 0 is 1. 6 plus 3 is 9. Three, 2 plus 1 is 3. And there's my answer. So now I can check my work. There's these two buttons here. Now it's not sure which one I want because that's for the whole selection of the question. What we want to do is click on the next one. Correct. Correct. Okay. And I've checked my work. Now I can go to another question number two and I'm going to go to a new problem and it's number two. Let's say I wanted to put in another question. Now I can next. navigate and watch through the window and see the problem list. Well, there's the first question. Three times seven equals and it takes me right back there. So again, navigating to a new to a new problem, I can go new problem or next problem. And I can look out the window and see the problem list. And I can go back to that question. Now, if I want to save it, that's where I'm going to do file, save as. I've got perhaps a number of questions that I've completed, it will be under my file within MathPad under the class view. So I title it and then I can get back to it. If I want to print it, I can print it, print this problem, and voila.
If I want to print more than just the one problem, I can go to View, or to File, Print, and then I can have all the problems, certain problems, specific things I may want to print. Okay, so that's an example of multiplying in MathPad. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.